I recently completed a study comparing Glow Incorporated's strontium-based glow-in-the-dark paint to United Nuclear's uh, europium-based paint, and there really wasn't that much difference. I got to thinking about it, and I realized in a way that test was unfair because the Glow Ink is so thick, it's almost like a paste. There's a very high concentration of the glow-in-the-dark crystals in it, whereas in the United Nuclear, when you mix it up, it's very thin, it's almost like water, and I realized that this has a much higher density of glow material per cubic centimeter than this does. So that gave me the idea that I might be able to make this stronger by simply pouring off the translucent glue that holds the glow-in-the-dark crystals together. The glow-in-the-dark crystals are heavier than the carrier, so they settle to the bottom fairly quickly. Now, this has been settling for about four days, so I'm going to pour it off now. Now, if you look in the bottom, that's almost pure glow-in-the-dark crystals. And this is the carrier. This doesn't glow. It's that stuff that glows. Uh, but there's enough of the carrier left in here. So now that's sort of like a paste. And it should be about the same as this. So now what I'm going to do is repeat the test and see if this now concentrated material is brighter than Glow Ink's Glow. Here's a close-up, and you can see what's happened. Whereas before it was watery thin, now it's almost paste-like. So this should concentrate the glow material quite a bit stronger. Let's see if it makes any difference. And here you can see the results. The sample on the left is the United Nuclear concentrated down to about half an ounce. Uh, the one on the right is the uh, as-shipped strontium-based material by Glow Ink. Uh, the now concentrated United Nuclear Europium glow-in-the-dark paint, it's actually looking about twice as bright as the uh, Glow Ink strontium-based paint. Now that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is that doing this increases the cost of the United Nuclear material to about $20 for half an ounce. That's twice what the uh, Glow Inks Glow in the Dark paint is. Uh, but it also makes it uh, a little bit easier to apply. The, uh, uh, the Glow Ink paint, like I said, is pasty, but it's also very grainy. It's hard to get a uniform layer. Whereas the concentrated United Nuclear material is still very smooth and creamy. The grains are much finer. So uh, if you need the ultimate in uh, glow-in-the-dark brightness, your best bet is probably going to be to get some of the United Nuclear, let it sit for a week or so, and then pour off almost all of the carrier, uh, the glue that holds the pieces, to, uh, the uh, particles of glow-in-the-dark material together, and then just mix up what's left and use that. I hope you found this video uh, helpful, and thank you for watching.